Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Global Cooling Rundown, April 15th to April 21st. Good afternoon, everyone. Icebergs, icebergs, icebergs. 455, that is five times the average. Ships are going south to avoid the ice, just like the Titanic. Coast Guard has a nice rundown from 1900. And when you overlap it with the solar cycles, of course, there's going to be a direct correlation of how much ice it is, solar maximum or minimum. When we look, where do these icebergs come from? West Greenland, East Greenland, Elsmere Island. Incredible amounts of new snow and ice on the east. All-time record ice increases since the satellite era began across Greenland. Grand solar minimum tropopause is going to rise across the equator, slamming systems and jet streams across the poles, causing unusual weather like the cyclone that's been there for three weeks, breaking the ice into smaller pieces. And right around Elsmere Island, that channel there, usually the wind goes northeast and the currents go southwest. But right now, the wind is going southwest along with the currents. It's like a bicycle chain just pulling chunks of ice right through that into the currents along Greenland. Right down into the same area where you see the Coast Guard marking off the danger zone for ships. And then add into this, deep waters from the Atlantic rising to the surface, cooling anything 59 north and above. It's like an ice cube in a glass. If it's cold water, your ice cube stays there longer. Good afternoon, everyone. Spring is going to hold off for a few weeks longer in Europe as this crushing Arctic low pulls all the way down to the Middle East, dropping sleet and snow across 75% of Europe all the way down into Syria. With all this hot and cold air mass mixing, supercells abounding across Europe, Russia, Italy, and more out-of-season storms in Myanmar. It's supposed to be the dry season throughout Southeast Asia, India, and the Himalaya until approximately late May or June. But massive thunderstorms ripping apart homes in Malaysia. Large cold blob now envelops the Indian Ocean. Good afternoon, everyone. A link found between cold European winters and solar activity. The freezing of the Rhine is the largest factor. Also including the great frost that devastated Europe in 1739 and 40. There's a certain trend that you'll see where it was an uptick in temperatures just like today and then it crashes down. This follows the total solar irradiance. The only other two times this much of a descend is right into the grand solar minimum. Solar wind pressure decreasing. So we're looking for signs around Europe of an intensifying mini ice age. Snow falls across Europe. Norway blanketed. Sweden record cold. So cold in St. Petersburg, they're asking the citizens to feed the migrating birds. Over a foot of snow across the Alps. Tornadoes ripping across Europe as these warm and cold air masses collide. Water spouts, ferocious electrical storms, and it all fits the same pattern. Good afternoon, everyone. Another freeze event penetrates deep into Europe, down into the Mediterranean. These fronts are only about 700 to 1,000 miles wide, driving 60 mile per hour winds on all sides of the front as it pushes through. Electrical activity is something to behold. Persons in Europe across the chat boards are frightened by how electrically charged the atmosphere is. 65,000 lightning strikes over the last two days along the Mediterranean. Just across Italy, large clusters. Half mile wide water spouts coming down. Something that looks more like it would be coming out of Texas. Supercell fronts rolling over major metropolitan areas. Tornadoes coming down in city centers. And you have to ask yourself, can we predict will this increase in intensity, yes or no? And the answer is absolutely yes. It's all based on the height of the troposphere and the amount of charged particles coming through the Brooklyn currents onto our poles. An active sun, we get into these zonal jet streams, which keeps everything more locked in place. More ozone at the stratosphere, meaning less ozone at the mesosphere, so the weather surrounding both poles is more stable. But when we come into an inactive sun, troposphere rises along the equator, slams down on the poles, and starts sending these oscillation patterns through in a very short wavelength. As the electric current density increases due to our weakened magnetosphere, you can expect that all the other circulating cloud masses from the equator to the poles are going to shift as well. 
Currently, I believe we're right in the center here. We're going from that longer duration wavelength something into the very short wavelength. You're starting to see cyclones at the poles lasting three weeks in the North Pole, breaking up the ice, sending all these icebergs south. The weather fronts are becoming more compressed, but more ferocious as they dip even further south. And now the aurora are incredibly charged. They're changing color spectrum into the purple, blues, and whites. Taking a look at the Birkeland currents and how the energetic particles flow to our poles, this red aurora, intense, but the blues are double the height above that. We're going to start to see these blues more often. And when this happens, the electrical charge in our atmosphere is going to resemble something like this. And you will understand clearly why the ancient built these dolmens. Our modern society, we live in homes with electrical cable running through it. They were trying to hide out in stone structures to avoid the plasma discharges that were happening on the top of the planet. This is in all petroglyphs. They saw the same things in the skies, and we're about to see it again. Good afternoon, everyone. Vital signs of the planet NASA. Land ice showing that Greenland is losing ice left, right, and center. 281 gigatons a year. Take a look at their 2016 charts there. Let's compare that with DMI that shows all-time record ice gain across Greenland's ice sheet. And NASA, as I say this, this is like a father to a child. I'm disappointed in you. And you can always subscribe to ADAPT2030. I will bring you the correct data for the ice because it looks like you need the help right now. How can you not be following the DMI? And, and please support my work on Patreon. I'll keep more stories like this coming to you. I hope this brings more clarity to what I see in my daily life when I do this research. And you really will start to question what's fake news and what's real news when you look at these kind of numbers coming out and see who gets press time and front page headlines. I encourage you to do your own research. All the links are below in the description box. 